All right. Well, this is her office right here. Diamond City newspaper. Public occurrences. Found our pup. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Yes, sir. Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Do that. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'm not going to tell her my whole life story. It's a bit of a relative concept in the Commonwealth, but... Maybe you okay. should. That'd be an interesting newspaper work. article. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <laughs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. That Since might be who froze me. Synthetic people sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. If everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. <laughs> We're being so inspirational right now. see them again. Or at least... That you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Piper's now available as your companion, and we got some XP for Story of the Century. All right. It's a bit uneventful, but uh, I'll take it. One thing I do want to do, so this is something that you guys told me down in the comments a couple of episodes ago. You guys remember when we did the episode where we ambushed the drug deal and killed that guy? Uh, where was it? I kind of forget. We're gonna need to find out exactly where it was. I think it was by Backstreet Apparel. I think we're gonna try there. Anyway, so what it was is obviously we killed everybody. We got a ton of, um, what's it called? Is, is, uh, Valentine a synth? He might be a synth. That's kind of creepy. But what it is is so we, we killed him and we took a bunch of caps. Like we got a ton of caps. But the deal is you can also get a ton of drugs that you can sell for caps. It's like 3,000 bottle caps worth of drugs. So I want to go back. I want to find those. I want to pick them up and I want to take them back and sell them. 
Hopefully we can sell. I don't know who we'd sell them to, but I want to sell them. So that's my, my goal here. And I appreciate, like, I, I try to read the comments on the series just because there's so many ways to play this game. There's so many little things you might miss and stuff like that. Boom, boys, this was it. I love how their guns are still here. Are the drugs in these? Anything over here? Nope. All right, so the drugs are in these. Ah, uh, I was really worried about that happening right there. That was what I was not wanting to happen. All right, we're we're four, four too heavy. We're gonna have to drop something. What is this? Uh, so 28. We have 473 ammo for this thing. We never use the shock baton. Mirelurk meat we can get rid of. Then we'll drop two taters. Now we're gonna be able to fast travel back to uh, Diamond City. Woo! We're 260 out of 260, right on the dot, or 160 out of 160, whatever it is. I think it's 260. All right, so we got a ton of drugs now. We're gonna be able to go back and we're gonna just shoot them up. I'm just kidding. We're gonna go sell these things. We're gonna get some bottle caps and we're gonna be looking all gravy, baby. All right, let's do it. I also, I would love to try to, um, what's it called? Mod a weapon. Now don't, don't get mad at me, but I've never done weapon modding in Fallout, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but let's, I wanna go back to one of the, the vendors in here. Yeah. Everybody's sleeping, I guess. We have to find a, a what's it called? A bed to sleep in. That. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the boots. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Hey, you were in the paper, right? Vault dweller. <laughs> oh, seem pretty normal. Nice, we're famous, boys. I didn't realize we were actually in the paper. All right, so that's gonna have to wait. The uh, the selling the drugs gonna have to wait. Yeah, we're gonna be another headline now. Vault famous vault dweller sells drugs. Like <laughs> insane drug dealer. Selling papers is busy work, Mister. Hey, Nat. Hey, Mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free coffee. Nice. View from the vault part one, part two, and part three. Where do we see those? I'm sure it's gonna be under junk. Or miscellaneous. Whenever I take a walk to Diamond City, there are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, security. True, what well, we would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago, but it's easy to forget that even after all the progress we've made, more before the threat of radiation, before the super mutant and the feral ghoul of the synth. As fortune has it, I cross paths with Trevor, vault dweller, a person. This is crazy that it's just, that this newspaper is just stuff written on a piece of paper. I'll go through this for you guys. You guys can pause the video and um, read this if you want to. You know, some people might be interested in this. The folklore behind the game. All right. Good job, Piper. Piper. Heading my way. 
Let's trade. This is what I've got. Press cap and road leathers. Can I? Head my way. Let's trade. This is what I've what got. I Something before you cripple yourself. Head my way. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if I trade? <laughs> this is what I've got. What if I, uh. What if I took her clothes off of her? We just take our vault suit. Oh, we're naked now. Nice. That's a good look right there. I was gonna say, what if I took her clothes off of her and then I just, like. She was naked. Alright. We have a, a jumpsuit on now. Let's go back out to Diamond City. I don't know where a bed is for us to sleep in. Like, do we have a place to sleep? I just want to be able to sleep and, and wait off a little bit of time until people are back hustling and, and bustling. Can we sleep on this? I honestly don't even know how sleeping and stuff in this game works. Wait. It's 10. Okay, nice. This works. Um, 12 hours till 10 a.m. tomorrow. We go. Hopefully people are up and, and working by 10 a.m. This is cool. Experiencing all kinds of new stuff, man. Hope you didn't run into any trouble heading when you crossed the river. This girl seems like the type you. of girl that would buy. Well, I suppose we can do business. Let's see what you got. Just don't call it junk. Eight hundred and fifty caps. Eight hundred and eighty four caps. Oh, my God. Where's the other stuff? Oh, Jet. 850 caps, <laughs> buff out, 800 caps. Oh, she only has 240. No way. Hey, Myrna. I may sell just about I'll trade anything. what, she, what you have. She doesn't have enough caps. Dude, we're gonna make so it. much money. Let's it. go! We're just gonna have to sell this in different areas, like a real drug dealer. All right. Um, so my aide, she has 243 caps. So I'll tell her. I'll, I'll sell her 14 of that. Excuse me. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. What is? You can say get lost. I remember you from the tap house. That time Paul made such a fool of himself fighting with Henry. Now he's missing. Uh, Paul, I mean, it's not like him, and I'm worried something's happened to him. He's dead. Paul's dead. Oh my god. How do you... Do you know what happened? That have happened to you. And, uh, I don't know if you heard about the No. I just heard that he was dead. No! Oh, I can't believe it. I'll never see him again. I'm it's kind of so sad. I have to go now. <laughs> What's up, homie? All right, I want to see if if you're thinking safety, a long-range rifle. Sure, let's take a look. Everything let's see if this guy's gonna buy to... anything from me. And then I'll, uh, I'll see if I want anything from him. I kind of want to buy all of his ammo. Oh, shoot. That's pretty expensive, though. Combat armor chest piece. Is there a way to compare? I 
I want to see what we currently have. All right, we're going to go to my apparel. That does 10 and 15. That's actually pretty good. Missiles? Missile... A missile launcher and missiles? Yes, please! <laughs> Let's go! That's probably gonna be really expensive, though. I mean, not expensive, but really heavy. Maybe at another point, Arturo. Sorry, man. See if the doc will trade with us. No, he doesn't bother. He just... He fixes you. John... Is there anybody else we can trade with? Ah, well, this guy. Here for you, brother. Let's see what you have. Got your he fix. is for sure. For sure. Oh, he only has 259, though. Take the caps. Diamond City surplus, everything you need. We well, unfortunately, that's arms. all we're going to be able to sell at this uh, particular point in time. Weapons workbench. Hey, you're that vault dweller from the paper. Yeah, it's me. Hi. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. What? All right. See what we got going on here. We still haven't ever used our cryolator. What's something we use a ton? Probably, I mean, our 10 mil pistol. Sure, let's see what we can do here. Now remember guys, I've never done this, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Hopefully this works out well. We'll see what happens. Um, Got a hardened receiver on it. Hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Don't Powerful receiver. <laughs> it takes a little Protection bit more. From hardened automatic. So what does it currently have on it? 26 damage. Advanced receiver. That's pretty cool. Swatter, swatter. Who needs a swatter? That's going to add to the accuracy, but not by much. There's a large magazine on it already. Sights don't really help. We already have a solid freaking pistol. Long hardened 20... Okay. Uh, pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Let's see what we have here. Long barrel. Ooh, brings the damage up. Hardened receiver. We could do that. Powerful receiver. Boom, baby! We just upgraded the sniper rifle big time. Okay, so I'm seeing how this works. It shows you what each thing does. So you can see this one increased the damage, lowers the accuracy, increased the weight. That takes the damage up to, oh my gosh, to 60? Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your value down and accuracy down? Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. I don't know if I want to take the accuracy down though. What we could do is put the long scope on it, and then we're going to go back up to the stock. Boom. 
There we go. So we put the comfort grip on it. Oh, what the fudge? No way. That's pretty cool. It's a pistol now, but it's going to do way more damage. And it's it's more accurate. We just completely changed. We changed from a sniper to a pistol, but it does way more damage. And it's more accurate. And it weighs just a little bit more. That's pretty cool. All right. Good stuff, boys. I'll see you on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know where we're going to go next. We'll, we'll see. But uh, that was, overall, that was a, a pretty solid pretty solid little uh, event there. So hope you guys enjoy. We're going to do more weapon customization in the future. Peace out.